Welcome to our feature clip on the Electronic Document Framework for SAP Business One Release 9.2. With the Electronic Document Framework, you can generate XML files for your transactions for integration purposes. It supports all accounts receivable transactions on the customer side like quotations, sales orders, deliveries and invoices. The Electronic Document Framework can be easily set up and in combination with an integration solution, such as the integration framework of SAP Business One, you can implement an electronic data exchange scenario. Let's review a typical business scenario. OEC computers have regular business transactions with their customer microchips. To improve overall process efficiency, both companies have agreed to closely integrate their processes to streamline the invoicing process. Accounts receivable invoices created in SAP Business One will be generated as an electronic file and then they can be passed onto the customer microchips for easy processing. The implementation of the electronic document framework consists of two critical steps. Firstly, the modelling has to be done in the electronic file manager. And secondly, the framework needs to be activated and several settings are to be executed in SAP Business One. As an option, you can also develop an integration scenario using the integration framework to distribute the XML file. So what does modeling with the electronic file manager actually mean? Let's have a look at how this works in SAP Business One. We are now logged into SAP Business One and we want to navigate to the electronic file manager which is an SAP add-on included with Business One. The Electronic File Manager translates the document structure from SAP Business One into the relevant target format required, such as XML or a specific bank file format commonly used by banks. To do this, we're going to navigate to Tools and we're going to open up the Electronic File Manager Format Definition window. We're going to select a recent project that we created for this example. Modeling occurs by connecting the target and the source document fields by drag and drop. In this example, we're going to select, for example, document num, and we can drag it to our target document num field. In the target output, the mapped results will be saved as a file uploaded as a format definition in SAP Business One. We are now going to have a quick look at the settings in SAP Business One. Firstly, we need to activate the electronic document framework and to do this we navigate to Administration, System Initialization and we select Document Settings. Under Document Settings, Electronic Documents tab, we must enable the Electronic Documents option. You can also define the default electronic document format and also the default generation type. Under default document format, we're going to define a new default document format. To do this, we're going to upload the format definition we previously created using the electronic file manager. Now we've defined our electronic document format, you also have the option to define a default generation type. And what this means is when you save a document to the system, it will either automatically generate the output to the output file or you have the option to generate it later. Thirdly, we need to define and activate the document number range for each electronic document output transaction type by setting the flag digital series in the document numbering window. We're going to navigate to administration, system initialization, document numbering, and by selecting AR invoices, we now have the ability to select the checkbox digital series as a result of enabling the electronic document framework.
We also have to define the path settings and to do this we go to General Settings, we navigate to the Path tab and we define where our XML output folder will be. We have to also define some specific settings per customer, in this case for the customer microchips. Business Partner specific settings override any default settings. To do this, we'll navigate to Business Partners. We will then search for our customer microchips. And then under the Electronic Documents tab, we have the ability to ensure that we define and select our export format, which is the EDF mapping example that we created. And we can also specify the generation type. And in this case, we want to generate the output as soon as we save the document to the system. Now that we have created our format definition in SAP Business One and we've gone through the necessary settings to activate the electronic document framework, we're now going to view this scenario from the perspective of an end user. To do this, we're going to create an accounts receivable invoice in the system. We're going to begin by duplicating the last invoice posted for our customer microchips. So firstly, we're going to navigate to Sales, Accounts Receivable, and we're going to open up the Accounts Receivable Invoice window. We select the last AR invoice. We're now going to duplicate this invoice for our customer microchips. And now we're going to add the invoice to the system. Now that we have created a new invoice, and that was invoice 358, let's have a look at the output folder where the XML output is being sent. If we open up our XML output folder, we can see that an XML file for invoice number 358 has been created. If we open up this XML file in Notepad, we can see that the XML output is very simple. Finally, I'd like to show you the electronic document monitor. Back in SAP Business One, if we simply navigate to Reports, we then have the option to open up the Electronic Document Monitor window. This displays all of the historically generated output files and it allows you to trigger the output again using the button Export at any point in time. All you need to do is simply highlight the document and select Export. So we have demonstrated a very simple scenario using the Electronic Document Framework to generate XML files for your transactions for integration purposes. Thank you for your time and make sure you check out what's new in our feature clips for SAP Business One Release 9.2.